Hello guys, it's Ben Adekos from Revitech and today I'll be doing my very first official YouTube video. So be the unboxing of one of the hottest mid rangers of 2018 and that is the Redmi Note 6 Pro. So here with me is a big orange box. Now, taking the lead of the box, wow, I'm really excited to know what's in here. Oh. Ta-da! Whoa, we have um So yeah, 2020. 2020 was a tragic year, yes? But the smartphone industry just didn't stop. It was boozling with so much releases and innovations. Yes, innovations. We saw the first commercial under the space of free camera on the ZT Axon 20. Though I didn't have enough time to play with as much devices as I would love, I would have loved, but this is my top 5 smartphones for 2020. The list is very subjective. LG is a household name for most of our household appliances, ranging from washing machines to TVs to even air conditioners. They also make smartphones, and in recent years, their smartphone department has not gotten as much love as, let's say, the TV department where the CX models have been praised as being one of the best OLED displays out there and even the availability for you to hook up your 2020 consoles like the Xbox Series X, the PlayStation 5 and play at the highest display resolution 4K at 120 frames is wonderful So February 8th is the confirmed date for the launch of the Xiaomi Mi 11 in the European market. Now, the Mi 11 was launched on December 28th in China and had the first flash sale on uh, January 1st. But in the European market, it will be launched on February 8th and should actually be the same device as that that was launched in China. You should expect a 6.81 inch AMOLED display, WQHD, 120 Hz, uh, 4600 mAh battery. So this video is to celebrate my one year as a tech YouTuber. And to be honest with you, being a YouTuber is very hard. Most of us being a tech YouTuber is way harder. Because we have so many really good tech YouTubers out there. Like my favorite, Mr. Who's the Boss. We have MKBHD, we have Frankie Tech and our own Fisayo Fusudu, Eric Okafo, Isisi Boye and so many really good guys. Now, I planned on making this video to be an hashtag ask a good section but when I opened the platform on my social media handle, Facebook, Twitter, So last week, the Redmi Note 10 series were launched in two different variants. We had the global variant and the Indian variant. So in this video, I'll be talking about my initial expression on the Redmi Note 10 series. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The Redmi Note 10 and the Note 10S were launched in both markets. Meanwhile, the Redmi Note 10 Pro in the Indian market was actually the Redmi Note 10 Pro in the global market with a downgraded new camera sensor. While the Redmi so for the first quarter of 2021, it's a splash of smartphones from the likes of Samsung, Xiaomi and Oppo. Let's take a look at their mainstream flagships. And the first on my radar is the Xiaomi Mi 11, launched in China in December 28, 2020, which made it to be the first flagship of 2021 but the second flagship launched globally for 2021 